ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster the Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to this theme park newsroom update, where today, Thought Park Resort, I should say this evening, Thought Park Resort, have submitted the final planning application for Project Exodus, the UK's tallest relic step, which is rumouredly we're still rumoredly at the moment but we pretty much have an in indication it will open around 2024 so before we get it stuck into all this information please make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here click the notification bell so you don't miss youtube video check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you buy on the camera can submit your own video ideas and before we do get started I want to dedicate this video to all the people in Ukraine. We stand with you. And for now, guys, let's have a look at what's going on with Project Exodus at Thorpe Park Resort. So some highlights from the planning application reads as follows. The ride will feature trains of 20, which is 10 rows of two. The trains will have lap bars, which is not too surprising, but a little extra bit of detail, which is nice to hear. Of course, you know, you guys know much how I love, love lap bars. You saw on the Blackpool Project Beach vlog from Icon, you know, that ride has got some amazing restraint system. It makes you feel free on the inversions, and even during the launches, it makes you feel free. So, you know, using Icon as an example, but um, the reason why I'm using Icon as an example is I'm pretty sure the manufacturer is going to be the same manufacturer, but I'll go on to that in a little bit more detail a little bit of time soon uh, but no manufacturer speaking of manufacturer is confirmed is not is not confirmed uh, this is not of interest for planning information but it's acknowledged that it is of interest to roller coaster enthusiasts so that was a nice touch from Thorpe Park in the application equally the application does mention the ride comparisons are done to a similar ride in Europe now I'm going to go on a bit more about manufacturers in a little bit of detail in the analysis and my thoughts on these information um, but I think it's very clear from the images, from one particular image that's going to fly about on your screen at some point from the trains on the plans, it looks to be a Mac Hyper, which I think was what a lot of people were expecting. The ride will reach a maximum speed of 130 kilometers an hour, or around about that, but it's not definite as of yet. The ride will have a light track color high up, similar to Stealth. This is mentioned in the consultation period, but we haven't understood yet uh, the confirmation of what the color is used for high points or low points this is usually contained within their documents somewhere uh, so if anyone has seen the documents and wants to shed light on that information then comment down below the right highest points are 72 meters 50 meters 48 meters and 43 meters put into bed the initial thought uh, that they may go for a world's tallest inversion record Lots of trees will be planted around the station building, and during construction, the lake will be infilled partially. Originally, the supports were meant to go into the lake, but it looks like they'll go into a small part of land within the lake. This is a compromise between having a nice looking lake and an ease of maintenance. The expanded construction area appears to just be for the full demolishment of Logger's Leap, as opposed to just the bits in the way. Now, construction should start later this year, and the whole process should last 16 months, so spring 2024 for opening now in the past applications we've had uh, a look at the design of the buildings but there is no mention of that usually we'd even get fencing plans with the style height material but again doesn't seem to be there and all we can say about the station is it has walls and a metal roof but the roof should be taken for granted so there's no clarity on theming style colors or anything like that and a little bit of a random fact, the transfer track is after the station and at the start of the ride as opposed to the end of the ride before the station which is quite different to other roller coasters out there. Um, now in terms of any other details, my good friend who was on the Blackpool Pleasure Beach vlog, Jack Silkstone, he's actually put a thread on Twitter with all the things that he has found in the planning application. So I do want to give a shout out to Jack Silkstone for this little bit of information. The information that I'm going to speak to you guys from the thread, some of it we already talked about just now, some of it we didn't. So this is what Jack Silkstone has, has put uh, after going through all 50 documents making up the application. So the online website was visited nearly 24,000 times since the launch. Um, the overall response was very much in support of the coaster, with 97%
going into the coaster's development. What Just over 1.1% saying don't know and nearly 1.7% saying no. Now a lot of the questions were asked about the design of the coaster. The park is still holding their cars to their close to their chest in regards to the manufacturer but it seems the part themselves will officially reveal the manufacturer as a way to help probably likely market the ride and the particular bit of information in the planning document that says this uh, it says the manufacturer is not a planning matter but will be identified via the resort website in due course as it is acknowledged this is a matter of interest for other coaster enthusiasts now for anyone claiming Heathrow is the reason Thorpe can't build taller than stealth this particular bit of information is for you Thorpe Park is located 8 kilometers south of Heathrow Airport. Regarding concerns on the impact of the roller coaster on the Heathrow flight path, the design and health and safety team liaised with Civil Aviation Authority to establish a method to mitigate any risk identified. So, nothing will happen with that. Now, in terms of any other extra details, the map of all buildings and rides that will be demolished for this ride um, is on there. Uh, Creep Freak Massacre is very much on the chopping block, but no time frame for this work has been given. In purple, in another document, which I'm going to put on your screen now, find out dozy, uh, is a very interesting early layout, and it appears to have a much more out and back style design. The layout was changed as it interfered with the Burger King food unit, wasted space, and the canyon area of Platform 15, which was to be left untouched. So those are the kind of bits that are remaining within the project. Now the designs uh, of the project uh, eventually reach what we see today. There are more reasons why the design is the way it's listed to it left is this very cool 3D render, which I'm going to put on your screen now. Fun dabby dozy. Uh, so this is the 3D render um, of, the, of, of the area. Um, so the Burger King's right, uh, maintained, uh, you've got the, um, the Canyon Area Platform 15 which I believe is set to remain as well, the Waste of Space which will be remain as well. Um, now in terms of more information, so 72 metres of course making it the tallest around the UK. Now there are still suggestions that this ride will have one of the tallest inversions in the world, however that is not confirmed. Someone in the forums saying uh, that it might not, do, that it probably won't do. People are still saying it will do, so it's still an open debate about the tallest inversion in the world. To give a sense of scale, all sections highlighted um, in one particular document are taller than Tidal Wave, which stands just below 25 metres. Uh, so this is very exciting indeed. Um, I mean, this could be really exciting, but... Um, yeah, I, I really do feel like this is going to be an epic, epic project. Now, let's share my thoughts on Project Exodus. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, through all six of all ages. That is speaking about Project Exodus and the final planning application. Now, someone is going to have to remind me um, when the... Uh, what's the deadline for the submitted plans? Because... Oh boy, this the, the countdown is on for Thorpe Park's next roller coaster. Now, 2024, you can bet your lucky backside I will try and get there for opening day. Um, if not a media launch, if there is a media day for this coaster, because, oh my god, <laughs> this... This looks amazing. Now, of course, you saw one of the images on your screen during that whole report, which was the trains for the Mac Hyper. In my belief, in my opinion, it is a Mac Hyper. Um, you saw the Mac style trains. They were sort of similar style to Icon from the plans. Um, and, you know, got the lap bar restraint as well. And, of course, if you're looking at other Mac Hyper coasters, it feels quite similar in a way in terms of the style of the train to... Um, like DC Rivals and um, the, the the one at Lua Adventure with the massive loop, um, it feels it feels a lot like those two uh, in terms of style of trains. And um, you know, I'm really excited about this coaster. I think it's gonna be a really good investment for Thought Park. Uh, a Matt Kuiper coaster is, of course, quite new to the UK. Uh, quite very new to the UK. We never had a Matt Kuiper coaster before. Um, you know, in Europe, we've had the Intamin Hyper, we've got the B&M Hyper, of course. Um, in the UK, we've sort of got the Aerodynamics with the, uh, oh, you know, with the Pepsi Max big one. Um, and, 
you know, it, it, it does feel like a, a sort of modern day hypercoaster is coming to the UK. And this is going to be a wonderful project. I can guarantee this is going to be a wonderful project to watch. And, um, you know, Logger's Leap was such a beloved ride for all ages. And, you know, it was sad to see it go in the first place. You know, I remember a couple of years ago doing a, a news update on the closure of Logger's Leap officially when the park announced it. So, um, you know, it was quite sad not to get back on that ride because Logger's Leap was uh, such a fan favourite. Um, for me, um, it was such a, such a fan favorite attraction and um, You know to see this coming now after years of waiting for a replacement to finally see a brand new Rally Coaster coming to Thorpe Park as well You know, I was you know, I was old enough to remember the build-up to the swarm known then as LC 12 in 2011 um, You know the build-up to that and the whole end of the world stuff happening and things like that you know, I can hope that the build-up for this coast is going to be just the same as the Swarm or similar to the Swarm. Um, you know, where they really do try and hype this up. Not over-hype it, but hype it up as much as they can. Uh, now, in terms of the construction period, what we do know is it is set to take around 16... Uh, around, around 16 months, uh, we're hearing. So, um, could be... Could be around about the, the springtime. Could be around about spring 2024. Um, because we're hearing the construction is going to start late 2022, uh, so sort of towards the back end of 2022, so maybe around Fright Night's time. Um, so it should be very exciting indeed. Uh, but there we go, guys. That's me it for this video. Make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. And for now, my name is Coach Chell. Kill it on the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thorp-tastic day.